Hi my loves, today I have a super special video for you. I was going to put up something entirely, entirely different today. This was already sort of a style packed week and I am leaving on the day that you're watching this to go home and visit my family back in Georgia for a little while. Um, so I was not expecting to film, but the Target Lily Pulitzer Collection launched today, Sunday when I'm filming this, you are watching it on Monday. And I found so much more and I wound up buying so much more than I assumed I would. I honestly did not think I was going to get as many pieces as I did. So I thought I would dedicate a whole haul to it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the pieces, trying them on, telling you my thoughts. And at the end of the video, we're going to talk a little bit about the craziness, the pure insanity that was hashtag Lily for Target. I'm doing two things I never do in this video. Number one, I have the middle part. Number two, my hair is straight. And I want to really quickly tell you guys who are not following me on social media, the exclusive $23 flat iron offer has been extended by new me until the end of the month. I will have it linked down below. My hair is so curly and so frizzy and huge. Um, so this is a really nice deal for a flat iron that's really, really, really good. The first piece I am currently wearing right now and I want to show you guys. It is like this halter top and obviously I'm going to be showing you these on so you can kind of see it on the body and what it looks like in all of its glory. Not entirely shapeless, but it's just like a drapey, lightweight top. It's really nice for summer, I think, because the material is super lightweight and it's blousey. Um, it's beautiful. I love the detail up here and it almost looks like a metallic rope or something. I think that what I'll do with this is kind of pair it with a lot of arm jewelry which you will see because next week I will have a Lily lookbook. I'm so excited for it and it will be linked down below if you're watching it um, once it's up. But I really, really, really like this top and I think it's going to be really versatile for summer. This was $26, um, which I think is a pretty fair price for this. I got an extra large and I love it so much. Um, I tried on the double XL because originally that was all that I saw and then someone put this one back right as I was leaving the store, thank God. Because the extra large or the double XL, you'll see, I'll kind of show you in the try on. Um, it just dipped too low and it was too big. This fits like a freaking dream. So here's the top. And and this is the first time I've tried on the one in this size, but I have to say it fits so much better than the one that was the size above it. I think that it just fits well. As you can see, I have no issues with it showing my bra or anything in this area. I just think it's really freaking cute, and I like the fact that it's loose, but I don't... Like, you know, it's, it's going to be loose. I'm not going to be super defined in here, but I don't think, like, it makes me look incredibly wide or anything, um, which if you have a chest, sometimes it can. So I really, really, really like it. <sighs> I just think this is so cute. It's not something I normally would have gone for either, but I love the cut. I love the style of this. So super glad I wound up finding this in my size because it is going to be a summer staple for me. So let's backtalk a bit. I went to several Targets to find this collection. Most of it I found at the Target in Topeka, and I met some of the nicest people there. The employees were super freaking helpful, um, and it was a really nice Target. I did not know. But at the Manhattan Target, which is kind of close to where I live, I'm in Kansas, by the way, in case you didn't know, um, I found this pair of shorts first thing in the morning. This was all that was left because people were crazy and they were literally grabbing clothes by the armful. I got these in a double XL and I was a little bit worried they weren't going to fit um, just because I thought they looked a little bit wide and honestly with most of this I am an extra large um, and in the juniors department at Target I usually am an extra large but these double extra large ones wound up fitting perfectly because they just cover my backside perfectly. I really like these a lot. They were not quite what I was expecting, but they're almost going to be really nice beach shorts, I think. Um, these were $24, and I just really like them. They're really comfy, and I like this print a lot. I'm just really into this. They feel very like beachy and summery to me, and I can see myself wearing them a lot in the coming season. They're just not... I don't know what I was thinking with these, but I was expecting them to be more of like... I don't know, a thick material, I guess, um, or just maybe to cover a bit more, but they will work and they will be fine and I'm so happy to have them. So these shorts are what I was most excited for and I have to say, while I definitely like them, they're not what I thought they would be. If you can see, there's a very high slit on the side here and I don't hate that. I just, it's a lot higher than I thought it would be, honestly. If I got in a size smaller than this, they 100% would not have worked. Um, I like them. I'm sure I'll like still wear them, but they are not quite what I thought they were going to be. I think that they're cute. For $24, maybe not so much. They're probably going to be best worn casually, kind of like this, covered up on top, at least for me. 
Um, I do like them a lot. Maybe they'll be cute beach shorts. So this next piece is a jumper and my husband honestly did not love this when I first tried it on. He, okay, can we give like a shout out to Tyler for a minute because that man woke up at seven o'clock in the morning with me. He went to multiple targets and put up with my whining the entire time about not finding anything that I wanted and then bought me several of these pieces. Like MVP, husband of the year, he wins all awards. He didn't actually like this and he told me that he didn't think it was worth the $40. Um, but then as I continued to wear it and play with it and like I was kind of imagining how it would look with a belt and I sort of cinched it in at the waist, he was like, no, that's actually really kind of cool. Um, and I threw a sweater over it and he told me I absolutely needed it at that point. I think he just saw this basic piece and he was like, no, nah, maybe not. Those kind of look like long john pajamas. But it is this jumper. Um, is that what these are called? I feel like it's a jumpsuit. Um, and it's in the same print as those shorts I just showed you. And it is so comfy. It's really thin, but it's crazy. The way that the material is, it slides over any lines. So honestly, I was a bit worried about panty lines with this. Um, maybe not to be TMI, but like the material is so thin. I was like, this is going to cling to everything. It is not going to be cute. But honestly, the way that it like glides over the body is just really flattering. And I got this in an extra large and it fits so well. I have so many plans to style this. It's just the coolest thing. It kind of cinches in here at the waist with little drawstrings. But I almost want to like add an additional belt with it and I don't know what I'll do with the drawstrings if I do that. I just think like this would be so easy to style and even if I didn't do the belt like a cardigan and a pair of gold heels with this. I can just imagine this being so cool and so classic and I just thought it would be like an all together sort of outfit. For this piece, I'm having a lot of trouble getting this fully in frame just because of how short my room is in here, but I really, really, really like this. I wasn't 100% sure when I first tried this on, but this is so insanely comfy, and I feel like with like a sweater or a cardigan over the top of it, it's going to be perfect just as like a complete super easy outfit. I think it also fits really insanely well in the back and just makes everything look super nice. Here's how it fits at the bottom, so it's not like a fully skin tight closure, but it is pretty thin and it stops right at the ankles. So I think it's really cute. Um, this is a piece I didn't think I was going to love, but honestly, I could not leave the store without it. So this piece I didn't even know existed uh, until I walked into the Target where it was and I fell in love. Apparently it also comes in coral which is kind of more my speed but I really like this regardless. It's the same print as the top that I'm wearing obviously but it is this little sundress and I got this in an extra large again. Um, this was $30 and it's well worth it in my opinion. I just think that this dress is really pretty. I like the little flounce detail here at the like bust area. It cinches in at the the waist and it goes down to right at your knee. I feel like this is going to be so versatile because I think that I can really dress it up and wear it to like church or like something fancy schmancy um, or I could really like play it down and wear it sort of casual with a floppy hat or something. I just feel like the possibilities with this are absolutely endless and I think it's going to be so 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 fun to style. Now this is a piece I didn't even know existed until I reached my second target and I really 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 love it. I just think that the length is really nice. It's very lightweight. I like the little ruffle detail up here at the top and I like where it cinches in at the waist. Um, I just think that this one fits really well. For my final clothing item from the Lily collection, I got this maxi. When I realized this was still in stock at the Target I was at, I almost like burst into tears. I was so excited. This dress is so freaking cute and you're really going to see once um, it goes into the try on portion of this. Because I feel like holding it up, it doesn't look that cool, but I got this in an extra, extra large. The only thing is, as you can probably tell with everything else except for the shorts in this video, really and truly the extra large fit me the best. Um, this dress was kind of like a settling piece because I really, really, really wanted it and I felt like I could make it work even though it was a bit loose, especially in the bust and also in the waist. I'm sure an extra large would have worked better, but honestly, I had to have it. It is, oh my god, I love this print so much. I think this is the noisy, the nosy posy. Is it the nosy posy? It was $34 and it is this gorgeous maxi dress. So the way that it fits, the bust sort of hangs down, at least on me, maybe it doesn't do this on everyone. There's extra material so it hangs down over the waist and it just makes your waist look really small and it really enhances like your chest um, and then it glides over your body. The material on this is so thick, I was really surprised this was only $34 and it's really comfy and cute and I think I'm just going to, honestly, I just want to put this on and never take it off. Here she is, my ticket item. I 
oh, I cannot get over how obsessed I am with this dress. Apparently I'm going to beat up my bookshelf over it. Um, I will say that definitely I should have gone down a size. It's a tiny bit too long, which I'll show you in a second, and also just too full in the bust. I sort of dig the whole draping effect it's got going on, and honestly, it's so loose and so comfortable, and the way that it sits on my body, I just think it's going to work. I might just cinch it in with a belt um, right here to kind of emphasize that waist area, but... Overall, I cannot believe I found this. I cannot believe it is mine, and it looks so good. I love it so much. So on my toes, you can see it doesn't drag the ground, but if I'm flat foot, it almost does. It's like borderline, so I'll definitely have to wear wedges, which I would anyways. I just, this is the best thing that's ever happened. I'm just going to keep saying that until everyone in the world knows this is my favorite thing in the entire world. The final Lily item that I wound up picking up is this L'Oreal Color Riche thingamithinger. I don't know um, if this is a limited edition color, but it is in the shade 601 Nude Ballet. You can see it has like the Lily print up here at the very top and it has the Lily Pulitzer um, label right here. I didn't even know they were going to be doing like makeup stuff for this. I don't know again if Lily just slapped her print on this, but I really actually quite like this color. Um, I think it's really, really, really pretty. I'm wearing it right now. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect. Um, but it's almost like a really creamy, sort of glossy liquid lipstick. It's very hydrating, very pigmented, and I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, guys, so that is it for the haul portion of this and the try-ons and whatnot. Um, but I really quickly wanted to talk about this because I know a lot of you have opinions, and I cannot wait to hear yours in the comments section. This release was pure insanity. I knew I really wanted um, several pieces from this, but honestly, I didn't realize how many I wanted until the night before when I really sat down and I looked at the lookbook and I had out my notebook and I was like writing down the pieces I wanted. And I looked on Twitter with a hashtag and people had like somehow figured out that like by Googling on mobile um, which pieces you wanted, you could find the links and purchase early. And so everything was sold out by the time of the official release. Um, and I just, I felt very much so like this was super unorganized on Target's part. I also felt like people were so greedy. The first Target that I went into, I literally watched a woman grab, like take her arm and grab the entire rack of clothing, the first rack of clothing for the Lily collection and pull it all down and shove it in her cart. And you know like people like that, either number one, she's just gonna go fish through it at the dressing room and she didn't want anyone else to have any time to fish through, you know, and find their own sizes and whatever. Or she's going to go, like, resell it. And apparently that's what people are doing. They're reselling pieces from this collection at crazy, crazy prices. I think it's weird. I think it's really sad. Um, I met this woman at my second Target, and I tried on this gorgeous shift dress. And while I really liked it, I couldn't see myself ever wearing it. It was one of those pieces where I liked it, but it was a little bit mature for me. And if I wore it, it would be, like, one time, you know? And I was still going to get it because I did like it, but like she was waiting outside of the dressing room just curious um, as to whether or not I was going to get it. And I gave it to her and she said like people had been so rude, like she'd been trying to find that dress all day. But for me, you know, I don't want to hog this whole collection if someone else might like it better than me or might get more use out of it or whatever. And I'm not saying everyone had to go into it with my, that mindset. I just thought it was really sad because this poor woman had been like basically walking around Target since the opening uh, like two hours before I got there. She saw that dress and this woman had tried it on and she was just curious as to whether or not the woman was going to get it because it was in her size and whatnot. And she was like, no, I'm like for sure getting it. Um, it was apparently really rude to her and then like tossed it in the grocery aisle or something then someone recently stocked it and it was it was just crazy with things like this I think that being kind and being level-headed would get us so much further and everyone would kind of be able to like maybe get their hands on something or at least see it and maybe that's like a ton to ask for I genuinely don't know I I just I felt like this was sort of sad um, and I felt like this was crazy and super unorganized and on Target's part like they knew it was gonna be like this and still they sent like one of each size of each piece if they sent that piece to every Target that got it um, it was just it was crazy it was insanity and I'm very glad that I got what I did. I'm very grateful. I'm sorry to those of you who weren't able to get your hands on anything. I can't and won't tell you what to do, obviously, 
but I would not suggest going to eBay and purchasing these things for four times the price because you're really feeding into this vicious cycle that happens every time there's a limited edition um, Target collection rolling around where people are like crazy and greedy and they want to make a quick buck off of this instead of letting people get it for the incredibly reasonably priced um, prices that they have on these, which honestly, I thought this was like one of the cheaper collections they'd had in a long time. The last one I was really excited about was um, Philip Lim, and I worked at Target at the time. I know I'm rambling, but that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, my loves, I will see you very soon. Bye.